Singapore recently inaugurated the Singapore Green Plan 2030. It's a national movement to advance Singapore's national sustainable development agenda through five main pillars. Nature City, Sustainable Living, Energy Reboot, Green Economy and Sustainable Future. To achieve these goals, the government of Singapore will introduce a series of new initiatives and goals in the areas of green finance, sustainability, solar energy, electric vehicles and innovation. Incentives can be used to encourage the development and deployment of technologies in solar energy, electric vehicles, and other green finance sectors. The incentives provided by the Singapore government can give Singaporean companies the vitality they need to enter joint ventures with existing global companies or become market leaders in the future. Let's take a look at Singapore's Green Plan 2030. The Requirement Singapore's green efforts can be traced back to the late 1960s when it experienced rapid industrialization and urbanization. One of the original plans was to launch Garden City, the vision of former Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew to make Singapore a city with a green and clean environment. In 1969, the Environmental Protection Act was passed to strengthen Singapore's health laws and improve public health standards. Through careful land use planning and effective environmental protection, Singapore became a world-famous garden city in the late 1980s. However, with growing concerns about global environmental issues such as global warming and biodiversity conservation, as well as a growing population expecting a higher standard of living, a major policy review was made and Singapore's Green Plan was born. The Singapore Green Initiative, announced in May 1992, was Singapore's first formal initiative to reconcile environmental and development needs. This was announced at the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in June 1992. This plan outlines the policy direction that Singapore will take to become a model green city by the year 2000. The result was AKP 2012 launched in August 2002. With the new initiative, Singapore aims to achieve environmental sustainability beyond cleanliness and ecology. PPA 2012 started in September 2002 at the World Summit on Sustainable Development in Johannesburg, South Africa. The program steering committee and six executive committees oversees the development and implementation of the program of action to help Singapore achieve its goals. By seeking bold and collective action to combat climate change, the Green Plan is helping Singapore achieve its long-term zero emissions goal as quickly as possible. The Green Plan is led by five ministries and consists of five pillars. Nature City, Sustainable Living, Energy Reset, Green Economy and Sustainable Future. To achieve this goal, the Government of Singapore has introduced several initiatives and support measures in the areas of research and development, energy, green finance, sustainable tourism and land transport. Government's Role Sustainable development must be a shared goal that requires governments to work together with businesses, investors and consumers. To help businesses focus on sustainability, governments need to consider the drivers of these initiatives and the challenges businesses face in achieving their goals. There are several reasons why organizations in Singapore adopt the ESG Sustainability and Responsibility Goals. The government's concerted efforts to make the Singapore Green Plan 2030 an achievement is seeing outside participation in the vision. In February, Shell commenced providing sustainable aviation fuel or SAF to clients including SIA Engineering Company and the Singapore Air Force in Singapore. Shell has additionally upgraded their Singapore facility to blend SAF at multiple key locations. Last week, Atlas announced its dedication to Web 3.0 technology and tech for good. ESG awareness is percolating down from the government. The success of Singapore's sustainability strategy depends on innovation, continued government commitment and support from businesses, investors and consumers. The Singapore government is ready to take the lead in creating a sustainable ecosystem. Sustainability has always been an important political imperative in Singapore, but the advent of the Singapore Green Plan 2030 represents a major development in this regard. Announced in February 2021, the Green Plan represents a strategic shift at the national level to advance Singapore's sustainable development agenda. 
Since sustainable development is now a top political priority, it's inevitable that green initiatives will have significant legal implications. But more broadly, the document also suggests that environmental initiatives offer valuable opportunities for environmental law to gain more attention and become a well-established legal field in Singapore. Targets of Green Plan Singapore's Green Plan 2030 consists of five pillars – city and nature, sustainable living, zero energy, green economy, and sustainable future. They are made possible by a green government and green citizens. Several new targets were announced as part of the plan. These include, it is planned to install 60,000 electric vehicle charging points, and new car models must use clean energy sources. Ask schools to cut their net carbon emissions by two-thirds by reducing carbon neutrality by 20% or more. Transform Jurong Island into a sustainable energy and chemical complex. Singapore is emerging as a sustainable tourism destination with plans to turn it into a carbon services hub. As part of the Zero Waste Master Plan announced in 2019, TPA Semakau will reduce waste by 20% by 2026 and raise its waste reduction target by 30% by 2030. New sustainability programs for businesses and environmental management programs for businesses and schools will be implemented to raise awareness of sustainability. Most of the plan's other goals have been announced previously. Finally, a series of green plan negotiations will be held to engage Singaporeans in environmental initiatives and find the best way to achieve these goals. The Singapore Green Initiative, also known as the Green Plan, is a 10-year national program to implement the Singapore Sustainable Development Plan. The Green Plan is an interagency effort led by five ministries, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of National Development, the Ministry of Sustainable Development and the Environment, the Ministry of Industrial Trading, and the Ministry of Transcription. A new Department of Defense SAF Sustainability Office will also be created to focus its environmental efforts on three key initiatives to reduce carbon, water pollution, and waste. The goals include replacing the administration's current vehicles with electric vehicles by 2030. Some F-16s are starting to test green jet fuel increasing investment in water recycling systems, reduce water consumption by 10% by 2030. A Green Initiative The Green Initiative sets ambitious and specific goals for the next decade and reaffirms Singapore's commitment to the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Paris Agreement. It also ensures that they reach their long-term goal of zero net emissions as quickly as possible. Singapore builds on existing sustainable development efforts for a brighter future. Climate change is a global priority as it has caused sea level rise and extreme weather conditions that threaten the lives of many people. As a low-lying island, Singapore has been hit hard by climate change. Therefore, it is necessary to overcome this and at the same time, take concrete measures for sustainable growth. Since Singapore has a limited territory, it is difficult for it to follow the same policies as other countries. Land shortage in Singapore will be replaced by technology and politics. Change is inevitable. In these unprecedented times, change is constant and adapting to it is more important than ever. Singapore's Green Plan was recently announced amid the ongoing pandemic. But the need for change continues to be recognized as the country recovers from the economic downturn caused by COVID-19 and global pressure to make the country a better place. Companies that fail to adapt to current business trends and practices risk becoming inefficient due to reduced employee productivity and morale. The business must be strategic and ready for growth, from the leadership team to everyone in the organization. To successfully implement change, the organization must first create a culture that supports change. Just as the Singapore Green Initiative is reaching out to various industries to achieve its goal of making Singapore greener, the successful implementation of change requires a coordinated effort involving teams from all departments. Reaching out to different management teams, understanding their concerns, and coordination between staff and leadership teams will all contribute to successful change. Solar Deployment the main goal of the Green Plan is to make Singapore a leading green financial center in Asia and around the world. 
to facilitate Singapore's transition to a low-carbon economy and promote Singapore's development as a green finance hub, the government of Singapore in the 2022 budget will issue 35 billion Singaporean dollars of green bonds by 2030 to support public sector green projects. The Monetary Authority of Singapore is developing a comprehensive long-term strategy to make sustainable finance a defining feature of Singapore's role as an international financial center and is taking active steps to promote sustainable finance. For example, the Green Finance Working Group provided detailed guidance on how financial institutions can disclose climate-related information, a framework to help banks evaluate relevant green trade finance transactions, and a plan to make green finance a reality. Most recently in June 2022, the government of Singapore announced the Singapore Green Bond Framework, a governance structure for the issuance of green government bonds. Proceeds from green bonds issued under the structure will be used to fund the cost of supporting green initiatives. Effects of the Green Plan on Singapore and the Asiatic Region In the Green Plan update, the Singapore government has set itself the goal of achieving zero greenhouse gas emissions by the middle of the 20th century. This important step aims to give the economy a competitive edge by moving towards a low-carbon future and creating new growth opportunities in industry, services, and finance. The Green Plan opens up new opportunities for Singapore in areas such as green finance, carbon services and trade, and sustainable tourism. Singapore's sustainability efforts and ambitions have the potential to create new green Singapore's sustainability efforts and ambitions have the potential to create new green growth potential in the Asia-Pacific region and beyond. In particular, Southeast Asia's strategic position as a regional hub can empower the region in its efforts to achieve sustainability and decarbonization and accelerate Southeast Asia's green transition. The Green Initiative demonstrates Singapore's commitment to building a sustainable future and taking decisive action to combat climate change. The Singapore government welcomes the Green Plan as a life plan that will evolve with the people of Singapore as new technologies and solutions open up new opportunities. As global economic sustainability efforts gain momentum, meeting the Green Plan's goals is becoming increasingly important if Singapore is to become a regional leader in sustainability and finance. However, the initiatives and actions taken by the government of Singapore under the Green Plan represent proactive and concrete steps towards a low-carbon future. Thanks for staying till the end of this video. Share your thoughts or comments down below and if you enjoy the video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.